Hey, what's up, Chad? Uh, this is Devin Norton from SEO Dallas, Texas. I do appreciate you taking the time to speak to me earlier today and give me a call back, and I appreciate you just clicking on this video. I'm going to really briefly show you how to improve your website so you can use it to start generating clients through it. You don't have to go and pay like these extra third-party companies. If you're wondering why I'm making this video for you, it's really simple. There's a lot of small business owners out there that are spending all their time running the business, they're taking care of their customers, and they just don't have the time to learn how to make the internet work for them and bring in more of those customers. And typically the only thing holding them back from hiring a marketing agency is they don't know who is an expert, who is not an expert. And so I found that when I make these attack plans and I give them away for free, a lot of business owners still end up calling me back going, you know what, Devin, I like you, just take care of all this stuff for me. So at the end of this all, you see I've got some tricks up my sleeve and I can really do some good for your business. Just give me a call back and we can chat. If you want to take this free information and apply it yourself, by all means, this is completely free education. I'm here to help as many business owners as I can. Just please send me back some feedback and let me know if you thought this value or information was valuable. The things I'm going to talk to you about today are going to be how to make your website more trustworthy, uh, how to make it more of an authority, and then how to get yourself ranked in your local map pack rankings. Let's start by looking at your business. So I look through your website and I love that you have all these photos up here. Like the beginning, the front page is all photos. That's really, really good. Um, as far as humans go, we're visual creatures. So being able to see like who you are and see like your workers and see the type of work you do. It really helps secure business. Our goal is going to be to get people to get to this website so we can secure their business. Now when it comes to how Google ranks people, um, their whole goal is if somebody types in plumber Frisco TX, which 300 people a month search for that, their goal is to put that consumer in front of the one article that's going to answer all their questions. And so what that translates to is having the most content on the subject. Now the average website on the front page of Google has 1,890 words on it. So where you would want to be shooting is about 1,500 to 2,000. If we take a quick peek to see what you're um, sitting at, come on, you're currently sitting at 566 words. So it's a good start. I would recommend getting it up to that 1,500 mark. And it might be a little more with legacy. I, I told you that we could, we're combining it side by side. When it comes to legacy, as you can see, these guys have quite a bit of content. They may not have that 1500 mark though. Let me see what they're sitting at. They themselves are only at 1000. So 1500 to 2000 words should blow them out of the water. It should be enough. More the merrier, that's fine, but 15 to 2000 should be enough. Um, your images do count as content too. So this is pretty good. Amarillo Plumber, that's a really good thing to have it saved as. Cole's plumbing pipe repair under, under house. That's good if someone already knows your name. So this is pretty good. Um, as long as people know your name, you want to get ranked for like Plumber Frisco TX or Plumber Carrollton and something like that. So I would change the names of these pictures to something like Carrollton Plumbing, Frisco Plumbing, stuff like that. It'll help you rank for that. So that's my first tip, and that's how you make yourself more of an authority. Now to make yourself more trustworthy, Google looks for other websites that are linking to you, driving traffic to you. Um, but they're looking for relevant links. So you're going to get a lot more power from like other plumbing companies linking to you than you would from like Pizza Hut linking to you. Google knows you're not a pizza company. And so there's a tool I use to check this out. It's called Ahrefs. It costs about a thousand bucks a month, but it gives you some really valuable data on what's going on in the back end of websites. Uh, I know you mentioned that you were pretty new to the area. And let's see, August is when your website first started getting links. And you kind of skyrocketed really quickly up to close to 20. And you're just sitting around that 20 area. Currently have 19 websites linking to you. Um, if you... And it looks like your power isn't the greatest on it. Let me see what kind of links you're sitting at. This one's probably a good one, the air compressor. That one helps. It uh, looks like these are all blog spot ones. So someone, I don't know if you made this yourself or someone made it for you. But you do. You are getting found for topicals, which is good. The plumbing. It's just you don't have that much power. These are all zero domain ratings. So not only do you want to get the relevant ones, you also want to get powerful links. So if you go look at Legacy Plumbing, these guys are sitting at 321 different websites linking to them. Um... The easiest way to do this is to copy them. Copy them. If it's working for them, it'll work for you too. So you literally just go see what websites are linking to them and go try to get them for yourself. Like you see this one a lot. Ream is a great one to get. You just register yourself as like a, as a uh, a dealer of Ream. Business directory right here. You can make an account, put it in. You can see these are all very very powerful sites. And you want to go and get as many of these as you can, but you don't have to stick with just Legacy Plumbing. You can go into Dallas. You can go into Fort Worth and get as many relevant powerful links as possible to outrank them. Um, I would recommend getting about 350 if you do want to take over Legacy Plumbing, but you don't have to go with such a, a big target too. I mean, they get, these guys are having 4,500 people a month coming to them. I don't know if you can even take on that much business right now um, or looking at their website. Either way, I know you said you just moved. Um, the reason why I say that. 
But either way, you can start with smaller cities. Like you can start with Irving, you can start with Denton, you can start with other comp or other areas and just target keywords. And the way to target keywords too is to see what they're ranking for. So you want to look for keywords that have like buyer intent. Like all these are national keywords, but this one shows buyer intent. Someone types in plumber Frisco TX, which 300 people a month do, they're looking for a plumber. So you want to have this kind of stuff. Plumber Frisco, um, plumbers in Frisco, McKinney Plumbing, Plumber Frisco TX, Plumbers in Little Elm. These are really good ones, and you can see there's a lot of volume coming from those. So that's my second tip. You want to get your backlinks up, and you want to make sure you're targeting the right keywords. The last tip is when you want to get ranked in the local map pack ranking, right here, people skip these ads all the time, but if someone needs a plumber, they're going to call the first person that pops up. So you want to get ranked in the local, my biz, local map pack section. And that requires having more citations than your competitors, which is anywhere where your name, your address, and your phone number are in different directories across the web, like Yelp, Yext, Yellow Pages, White Pages, Facebook, Angie's List, Home Advisor. These are all the most common ones. Uh, the best strategy here is to figure out what directories your competitors are listed in. Go list yourself in those exact same directories, but then add a bunch more on top. So if you see Lexus here, if they're if they're sitting in like 150 directories, I'd recommend putting yourself in like 250, if not even the full 300. That's all I've got for you, Chad. I hope you found this video really informative. Just as a really quick recap, you're going to want to get your website up to about 1,500 to 2,000 words on the front page just so Google knows you're an authority. You're going to want to get more uh, websites linking to you than your competitors as well. So if you want to take out, out Legacy Plumbing, you're going to have to go for about like 340, 350 websites. I would just copy them. And then again, if you want to get ranked in the local map pack ranking, um, just put yourself in more directories than your competitors when it comes to like Plumber. What was that? Plumber Frisco TX, just put yourself in more directories than these guys. Just make sure your name, address, and phone number is spelled the exact same way across the, the internet so it's all relevant to each other. Uh, Chad, if you want to take this free information and apply it yourself, by all means, please do. This is completely free education. I don't expect any money or any monetary value from this whatsoever. I just ask that you please send me back some feedback and let me know if you thought this was valuable information to share with uh, business owners. And then if you do want me to help you take care of this stuff, you can also email us back and just ask for some more info or feel free to give us a call. Our phone number is 214-441-6737. And then if you look at the bottom of the email, that video it's also going to be there as well. Either way, I do really appreciate you speaking to me earlier today, and I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye.